In this episode of OS First Timer, Dinah will be generating AI art with a text to image program known as Stable Diffusion. Will this incredible software be able to draw what Dinah types? Keep watching to find out. So here you are with the amazing recently released text-to-image software called Stable Diffusion. This is Stable Diffusion running with the web UI by Automatic 1111. There are multiple interfaces to choose from and you basically type something up there in the prompt and it will generate a 512 by 512 pixel image in just a few seconds, assuming you have a PC with a graphics card with at least six gigabytes of video RAM. Uh, so before you generate your own images, let's check out some examples I generated to give you some inspiration. Okay. So this first image, I wrote a blue apple next to a red apple. All right, wow, look at the lighting. It looks fantastic. It's brilliant, but I didn't give it any information other than that. I wouldn't want to eat the blue apple. <laughs> I wouldn't even want to know what it tastes like, but it looks awesome. I simply said a blue apple next to a red apple. I didn't say on a wooden table. I didn't say what background to have. It you just... didn't even say the, the um, leaf coming out. That's right. If you don't specify, it will fill in the rest for you. And it decided to have a red stem. Yeah, on the, on the blue so apple. Interesting. interesting. So it decides if you don't give it enough information and get really specific, mm. it will fill out the rest. It's still got the same texture as the other one, like with the little dots and stuff. Yeah, correct. Now this one, I wrote a boy on the beach looking at a boat. That reminds me of, of the, jazzy. the jazzy, that, that beautiful um, picture that we called pondering, that we went up to the beach and we um, got Jazzy to stand there and we quickly threw all these uh, this bread for the seagulls so that we could have seagulls in it as well because I love seagulls, they're my favourite bird. A child with her whole life ahead of her looking out to the distance just pondering on her life and her future and, and what's ahead of her. I will say I have cherry-picked these images. I didn't type it in and generate the first result. I generated a few images, chose my favourite, and oh, used the example okay. here. Sometimes, so, it, so when you say it, it generates a few different ones and you choose which one you like. Uh, you can tell it to generate like nine at a time or 16 at a time if you want, or you and can just generate different. one at a time. They're it's different like every variations. time. variations. Very different. Very, a boy might be looking at a boat on the sand here or be trying to touch the boat and stuff. Oh. It, it, I, that's what I wanted. I wanted it well, out this short. This boy looks like he's about to <laughs> go to the toilet, actually. He's now, I want to show you, it's not just photo. Just the position of the hands. Yeah. And the... <laughs> it's not just photorealistic stuff you can generate either, mm. right? So, for example... And he's got some sort of a hat on too. Yeah, I didn't say for him to wear the hat. The hat actually, if you look close... And looks... notice it's long sleeve. It must be Absolutely. cold. Absolutely. But the thing is, you could choose... Oh, they must know you're in Tasmania. No. <laughs> so I mean... you, it has no internet connection, this program. You could say, a boy wearing a blue shirt, black pants and white shoes staring mm. at a boat. And it'll get that specific. But so... you can also be vague and say something. And it'll fill That's in right. the gaps. That's right. You can say car. And yeah. it could come up with a really weird options, okay? And it's yeah. generating its own thing. It's not just like... So if you actually Google boy at the beach looking at a boat, yeah. they're all different images, but it's generating its own ID. You won't find that kid looking at that boat yeah. here. So let's say you didn't want it in a photorealistic style. I wrote boy on the beach looking at a boat, Ed Binkley, meaning as if Ed Binkley drew it. Oh, so it actually has... Um, you can say Leonardo da Vinci or is this... And it'll oh, draw it in the style, style of that person. That's amazing. So this is like a cartoony, like almost a drawn boy, not cartoony. So you can cr literally create... Ah, absolutely. So it's like Leonardo da Vinci from beyond the grave creating these masterpieces. You hang them up in your home and say, that's a Leonardo da Vinci. Absolutely, you could do that. <laughs> oh, wow. Once again, I cherry-picked it, though. So do, just mm -hmm. do remember, sometimes it doesn't quite give you what you want, and you just have to click a few times until it does give mm -hmm. you what you I want, see. okay? So they are cherry-picked. But that looks like a picture from a storybook. Yeah, it does, actually. Doesn't it? You, you would think that was from a storybook. Authors book. could do this and use, you know what I mean? Yeah, they could. They absolutely to, to could. To illustrate, and that, that saves then on the illustrator. Yeah, the they only don't problem is, to... it's a bit hard because I get a different boy every time. So if there was a story about a boy Couldn't that goes to the beach that boy and... in the system, like, say, Potentially. There are some advanced features of this where you can actually insert photos and stuff, or you could even right. rub out an image and, and just rub out a bit here and say, insert a duck here, and it'll actually put a duck there, and you can get creative like that you can get real photographs oh, and great. almost like photoshop them using this i can as well. really see authors saving on illustrators for their books so isn't it illustrators and stuff and artists hate this i 
No, but they can even use it to they create. Can. They can, but, but they do hate, they feel it. like it's stealing their job. Well, it kind of is. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, we won't go into the depths of that yet. So here's another example. So here I said, a village by a pond with ducks being fed by ladies in the style of a 1700s painting. And because wow. I said a 1700s style painting, it's actually as if it was done in the 1700s, but it's also chosen the clothing of them as if they're from the 1700s. That's awesome. Do you note, know, it's not perfect though. Look at the lady. She doesn't have a face. She is holding something strange. The ladies here are disjointed. Style. That might be the style. Yeah. You don't and know. See, there's a ducks in the pond. But when you take a close look, it's not perfect. The AI has moved miles ahead. In fact... It's pretty good. I mean, if I was to look at that image, I would think, oh, wow, that's a 1700s painting. Yeah. These text... Or replica. Or yeah. These text-to-image models is a machine learning model which takes an input as natural language and produces an image matching that description. So this is what this type of software is. It's called a text-to-image. You know, like mm -hmm. text-to-speech? Yeah. Well, this is text-to-images. Much cooler, in my opinion. So these models began to be developed by the mid-2010s. This is very new, okay? And it wasn't really until 2022 that the output of the state-of-the-art text-to-image program, such as OpenAI's DALI 2 actually began to approach the quality of like real photographs and human drawn art. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is still very new. This is what it looked like in 2015. This was something called a lion draw in 2015. It was given and the prompt was a stop sign is flying in blue skies. It doesn't skies. even look like that's a stop That's sign. this technology back in 2015. It sucked. Yeah. It actually sucked. We have come such a long way now, okay? Yeah. A really long way. Have. Okay. So every time you generate an image, it'll look different. Oh, this yeah. one looks like roosters in the in the pond, like chickens. Yeah, I know. The they, you know, with it the does. roosters with the little red things around their Absolutely. Buddies. What are they doing in the water? Okay, here we go again. Let's say you generated the same image again. Let's say I said a village by the pond with ducks being fed by ladies. Mm. 1700s, because I didn't really feel this one was being fed by ladies. You press the same button again, just generate. It'll generate a completely oh, different image. Wow. Every time you generate it, it's completely different. The tree's very similar, though. Because it's a 1700s painting. Uh -huh. They should be wearing similar clothes and stuff. But still, once again, if you look carefully, some things just don't... Like, that doesn't look like a duck. That looks like a demented goat becoming a duck. <laughs> And that lady's got a creepy big face. You know what I mean? <laughs> her body is all misjointed. And, and there's there's ladies there with hair over their eyes. You know, like in that yeah. movie. You know that movie we saw with like their the hair over? Like the grunge or the ring, stuff like that. And of course, it's got the word village. It's always got to have some sort of house there, but it knows yeah. it's a village, so there should be lots of trees and by a lake. And village, meaning multiple houses Oh, by a pond, too. sorry. By a pond. Yeah. yeah. Multiple so. houses. Anyway, let's... Um, Those ducks are enormous. I know. I mean... I said, an angry man eating a cake in the style of Leonardo da Vinci. You know Leonardo oh, yeah, da Vinci, course. that guy from yeah, 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 no. back then? Yeah. And look, it's actually got a man eating a cake. The fork is demented as hell, but he is eating a cake, and it's the style of clothing Maybe he's, he's wearing. Maybe he's angry because his fork is so demented. No, I said he's angry. <laughs> Maybe that gave him a reason to be angry. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. So did you say the weird fork or not? No, I just well, said the, an they angry gave, man eating a cake. The computer Leonardo gave him Vinci. a reason to be angry. <laughs> okay. It also looks a little bit like Jesus. <laughs> it does a little Doesn't bit. It? It does. Yeah, maybe that was the style. So just note that Stable Diffusion is very, very new. Mm -hmm. It was actually released on August 22nd, 2022. So this is super, super new, and the new versions are constantly coming out. This interface that we're using, that web UI interface, the latest version of that only came out yesterday. So um, yesterday when it was filmed. So this is still very new, and there are many competitors. But the best competitor to Stable Diffusion would be DALI 2, in my mm -hmm. opinion. Sadly, most of the competitors actually don't run locally on your own PC. The cool thing about this is you run it on your own PC. Other ones, you need to access their server and so right. on. It's annoying, but this but, runs... But you need to have at least 6 gig or so. Something on your... You do need six gigabytes of video RAM uh -huh. to run this. Um, some people have tried to run it with four and a little bit lower, and it it doesn't work very okay. well. Yeah. Um, but if you want it running stably, you need at least six gigs of video RAM. Good. And you said also uh, to me before when you're trying to install it, it's a little bit difficult to install. It's you need a lot of prerequisites and stuff like that, but it's it's not too hard. Just look at a YouTube tutorial, and okay. you'll find out. So then I thought, what about a sculpture of a lady holding a bird? And it generated a sculpture, like an actual, that looks like a sculpture of a lady holding a bird. At first I thought um, what the bird was sitting on, of one side yeah, was it's a like little a, bit overgrown. Yeah, it's like a ball. 
Yeah. <laughs> with a grown right. <laughs> But do you just... think that's amazing? With no other information, it shows expression on the face, the hairstyle, the, what it's even made of. But you didn't say a ball. It was sit, standing on a ball, did you? It came up with that. It didn't know how to put the, I guess, the that on the lady. The perch, so it, put, well, it could have been on perched ball. on her arm or yeah. her shoulder. So I did another one just as a test. Oh, and here that's we go. beautiful. The same thing again. And it looks like a pigeon. I actually, it looks like a bit of a, a seagull. seagull. Yeah. yeah. And it's like picking her. Um, anyway, that's the same thing. Oh, wow. A sculpture of a lady holding a bird. That's beautiful. The sculpture is completely different once again. Do you know what? You could technically, if you want a sculpture. Yeah. Created or built or something. You could say but, in the style of Michelangelo. And too. yeah, yeah, and yeah. you can't sort of like you can't draw a picture because you're you to give someone example. Yeah, you could use this. You could to, use, and then you say, "I want you to create this." this. Can you do this? Sculpture <laughs> that's it. Wow, wow, just that's use great. that one. Why yeah. can't you use that one? <laughs> it's not because real. it's not real. <laughs> An AI generated it. Wow. Um, so let's say you wanted to be more specific because I didn't say what the sculpture's made of. Mm -hmm. So what about a sculpture, a marble sculpture? Of a lady holding a bird. So then it went with a marble sculpture. Do you know what? It did a crap job, though, of holding a bird. I don't know how that's holding a bird. It put a little pedestal there, and it's not really holding a bird at all. And where's the head? It just decided not to have the head in frame. It looks that a particular bit wrong. image. This, I use this, this is actually the first example I generated of okay. this. Just to show you what, when you don't cherry pick, this is what you're uh, going to get. Yeah. So you generate a few until you get one you're happy the with. The bird looks very disjointed too. That's what I was saying. This. I'm trying to work out where the head I want to show you. Is. I use this image to show you this is what happens when you mm. don't cherry pick. The program fails I'll tell you sometimes. what though, I could really, I mean people aren't going to go out and buy prints anymore or, <laughs> or paintings or whatever because you could just literally create your own masterpiece yep. and get it printed and framed and there you go. Now, this is another style you can do. This is a girl riding a horse in a 3D animation style. Yeah, that's So a 3D right. animation. Oh, where's the other horse's leg? It's only got it three legs. It forgot. It forgot that the horse has three legs? <laughs> Four, Four legs. legs. Yeah. It forgot. Maybe it thought maybe it was behind this leg or something, but yeah, it, it didn't do very well. It dog. almost looks like her, she's so. wearing a hoof. Oh, yeah. Like, it's, I think it started to put the hoof on her, actually. Yeah. As an example, I actually did a statue of a girl patting a horse. It got mixed up as hell. It has the horse half girl. Oh, my and God. And her half horse. <laughs> and she's got a bit of a hoof at the yep, end. Yep, she oh does. Look, gosh. the horse is standing on two feet. She's standing on four, <laughs> and her foot is like half off. This just goes to show... <laughs> The computer, oh and that God. was the first generation too. I just clicked it without. That is hilarious. I could literally. Cherry picking. You know how they yeah. have these, you know, artists have these yeah. weird abstract things. Yeah. That, you know, we've seen in public places. It can places. get abstract as hell, this program. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine people, I mean, building this thing and people coming to see it and stand. I mean, you'd literally stand there looking at it, trying to think exactly. what the hell is going on. A dog made of Play Doh. And it created a dog made of Play-Doh. It did, if someone but what's that on the back? Yeah, I, this was once again the first generation. I didn't, I, I'm showing it's you like non-cherry pick results. It's like it's got growing from its back. Don't worry, you're going to have a go of this. <laughs> you're going to generate your own. Everyone, she's going to generate okay. her own. I'm giving your ideas because without these mm -hmm. ideas, you might just type in stuff but not know that you can say made of Play-Doh or yeah, a sculpture or in the style of Leonardo da Vinci. You know I what know, I mean? I know, I know. A lady in a forest at night in the style of Van Gogh. Now, Van Gogh had this style. See where he has these like weird little, in fact, let me show lines. you some. I think he's Van Gogh, but he, he painted like oh, this. Oh, yes, you he's see? got lines. He painted like with these lines and stuff, and everything yeah. was a bit wiggly, wobbly. You know, that's just the way he that painted. That one must be a very famous one, that um, flowers there, because I've seen that one. Yeah, okay. You can see it. it's done that very well. It looks like mm. a Van Gogh painting. That's a lady in a forest at night. Yeah. Now, another thing about this program, it was trained on a subset of LAION Aesthetics V2 dataset, okay? So that's basically a bunch of images. It's looked at to train and learn what images are and how to draw. So it was trained using 256 NVIDIA A100 GPUs, so a bunch of graphics cards, really high-end graphics cards, at Amazon Web Service for a total of 150,000 GPU hours. Wow. So that it could learn how to, because it's AI. AIs need to look at things to learn how to do things, then they generate their own thing. Just like training a child at a school. Mm -hmm. You take a child to school, they'll learn how to do art, 
then they can produce their own art. They just need to know how to do it first. This costs $600,000 to train this AI that you're looking at now. So wow. money went into this. <laughs> um, and do know, it runs completely offline. You don't need an internet connection to use this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you just need the six gig. This UI, see this UI here that I keep showing? This UI, um, it's running locally. So although it's running in a web browser, mm -hmm. it runs completely offline. You can unplug your Ethernet. You can disable your Wi-Fi. You simply just need 10 gigabytes of storage space. So 10 gigabytes to store the files that are able to generate all this. Right, to, okay, got You know, it. store the software yeah. and all its data and stuff. Yeah, but then from that 10 gigabytes, you can generate limitless billions of terabytes. And so much you can generate. Okay. Anyway, we, we're near the end now of mine and hope you've got lots of ideas now of what you're going to do. Now, this one is to show you how specific you can get. A photograph of a chrome mechanical steampunk insect on a wooden table shot on a 50 millimeter lens with f1.2, extremely shallow depth of field, macro photography. And it even has like the background all blurred and only... That's right. That's wow. obviously with the macro photography and stuff like that. Look at the detail on the beetle's back and that bits of colour. And... Yeah. Isn't that amazing? It it's is. not a real, it's like a mechanical chrome steampunk insect. So Imagine using that in Fortnite, the, you know, the chrome version. <laughs> I always have to bring up Fortnite in something, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, now, this is uh, an image Jazzy generated, a horse galloping in space. She didn't give it a style or anything. Mm -hmm. It just randomly chose not to go very realistic there. This is an example of a competitor's program. This is from at Dally Mini. I generated a dog wearing underwear. A dog wearing underwear. And it's got the <laughs> face, the face. covered up and the legs sticking out from the underwear. Well, but this shy. is to show you, this is not using stable diffusion. This is using a free competitor that anyone can actually mm. use online. I'll use a, uh, I'll link this one in the description. This is Dally Mini. Um, yeah. This is a terrible one, but it's free. It's online. You don't need a fancy computer. You can generate this on your mobile phone if you want through okay. your browser. It takes like a minute to generate these because it's on a server, though. So, but these are awful. Nothing like stable diffusion. It's still a bit of entertainment. It is. I mean, that's quite funny. So this is another example. This one I didn't generate myself. I took from online. This is um, Kerala Village. Sharp focus, wide shot, trending on Art Station, masterpiece by Greg Rutson, Ross Tran, Fengua Shazong. Uh, I'm not pronouncing all of this right. Octane, soft render, oil on canvas, colourful, cinematic, environmental. Sure it wasn't Victor Tran. No, <laughs> but anyway, it's as if all those people got together and did it all in this style. That's what it would look like. How cool is that? Yeah. That looks amazing. like a really I love the uh, sun uh, showing and and um there's so much depth to it and the oh, people. There's a lot and look even in the background there's like um grey skies and Okay, I hope you're ready. I hope you've got some inspiration now. Okay. It is time for you to generate your own. I've always loved ballet, so I'm going to say and we've got the photos of me and Jazzy okay. in in the ballet doing some ballet together. Okay. If you generated this with Dali 2, I think you'd get a much better result. Beautiful ballerina is wearing a white tutu, walking and down a okay. sparkling diamond staircase on her toes. Now that would be gorgeous. And walking down a sparkling diamond. Okay, here we go. Generate. Might not be good because this is very, very difficult what you just... So that's the first one it's generated. She's missing her hair. Um... Let's just um, take restore faces here just to make sure. We'll generate a few. Let's see if we can do it. Okay. A beautiful, elegant ballerina is wearing a white tutu and walking down a sparkling diamond staircase on her toes. Well, I can't even see her toes. Well, keep going. This is what I mean about yeah, cherry you picking. You sometimes do need to. Her, she looks a bit disjointed and muscular there, and her foot's not even proper. The point of this is to show you that... Oh, it's... she's a bit... <laughs> no. It's not perfect. But it's... Program. The dresses are beautiful. I you, mean, the, the You need to not... cherry pick. You absolutely need to cherry pick. Okay. What's coming out of the side of her? She's so got a growth. You could do that. Now let's say it was in the style of... I um, think she's got a, a toe coming out of her arm. So let's say we'd said Leonardo da Vinci. Then it would generate them as if Leonardo... And look, it's got an old-fashioned style there. See that? Yeah, but it's she's as if not Leonardo, even... You do need to cherry pick. That's a very interesting top she's got on. Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, what's wrong with her foot? Anyway, let's go again. Let's try something else. I'm quite disappointed because... It's not perfect. As I said, it's not perfect. Yeah, but I would have expected it to be a little bit more on the ball. It's not always... Or on point. <laughs> <laughs> so, for example here, this is... I'll show you how you can throw this program off. 
let's say if you do something simple like a man standing in a city and let's say we did Van Gogh I pronounce, well, I hear people say Van Gogh, some Van Gogh, the city's going to be old-fashioned and stuff, but now, a car driving in a city, this is going to throw them off because cars didn't exist back then. As soon as we go for a car driving in a city, it's confused, it's sort of done it. It's like a little taxi. Yeah, it does, but see how you can, you can throw it off a bit, it struggles, it does look kind of Van Gogh, but... It's like the car is almost like, it's trying to do a bit more modern here. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, okay, but work. if you say a car driving in the city 1950s, it's going to find that a lot easier than trying yeah. to do it with Van Gogh. See? There you go, a car driving in the yeah, city okay. 1950s. Anyway, keep going And ahead. none of these people are actual real people. No, like, they're not real people. These are computer generated. Correct. Okay. So go ahead, let's let's keep going with your prompts. What's something else? Something creative. You okay. Um, a seagull. Oh, no, 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 no. Not a no, seagull. No, 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 no. There will be seagulls. Two girls picking up seashells on a beach with seagulls. Flying. Flying around. Now, okay. you do know. Yeah, I know. You've got an image. Painting. No, I've actually a got a real painting from a real well, there you go. painter that we purchased. It's an original too, and it was a couple of thousand so you got dollars. That one? Mm -hmm. And it was um it's called um collecting seashells. Oh, okay. And I love that painting. I absolutely love that They've painting. done girls because you have done not women, because in the painting it's women, two ladies, and they're doing girls as in young girls picking up. Oh, I might just change it to, to that because I want to see. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Ladies, to... if you can get something similar. Okay, let's generate this now. Two ladies picking up seashells on the beach with seagulls flying around them. It got what you said. Now, do you want to give it a style? A no, painting? Uh, I wonder if it would know the painter that painted our picture, Richard. Um... So there we go. That is the by Robert Hagen. And I've got the original. Yeah. Well, what's on her hand? It looks like she's got a seagull that merged to her hand. Really? Yeah. And what's wrong with that one's wing? It looks almost like a... Actually, it looks like a peacock flying in there with a long tail. We'll generate another one. There you go. Prefer that one. That's very similar to... See? Yeah, that's... So you can be there. But what there. are they wearing on their face? Two ladies. Um, what dress colour do you like? Well, it was pink. pink. Pink is the one downstairs, dresses. I think. So now we can specify that they've got pink dresses on. That's how specific you can get. How cool Ballerinas. Oh, two ballerinas? Yeah. Okay. Oh, but where are the seagulls? There, above them. See? Is this the ballerina? No, I haven't typed in ballerina yet. Ballerina. Oh, look at that massive one about to take a Yeah. Hill. Oh, there you go. Two ballerinas. <laughs> They're beautiful ballerinas picking up seashells on the beach with seagulls flying around them in Robert Hagen style. That's so it amazing, knows Robert isn't it? Hagen. It does seem to know Robert Hagen. I must admit, I do prefer his original that we've got hanging on the Yeah. Board. But these are interesting. So you can see in different artists how they would how they'll do this same thing. Van Gogh would do it kind of like that. Mm -hmm. You see, Van Gogh's um... more like a kid's doing it. <laughs> He's such a famous artist, and you've just offended every Van, Van Gogh's Gogh. more like oh. a kid's painted it. Um, Leonardo. <laughs> I don't know many artists. I'm sorry. <gasps> Look at that Leonardo da Vinci one. We've got that outside. That we've Vitruvian got... man. Yeah. Vitruvian okay. man. We've got that outside. See, we've got some Leonardo da Vinci okay. stuff here. Yeah, but not the original. <laughs> no, but style. <laughs> so if Leonardo da Vinci did it, it would look more like that. See that style? Really as if it's that home. But they actually look kind of creepy. They do, I don't actually. know. It's, it's this style that's quite creepy and I don't know they're trying to give them the clothing that Leonardo da Vinci would paint mm -hmm. them with and, and that that's looks a little <laughs> like the pigeon. yeah I don't know if um he was ever painted seagulls before so yeah that looks more like what you're trying to paint anyway mm -hmm. so if you don't really know an artist's name or something you can actually click roll and it'll put something there and then you can generate it uh, um like what what this guy would do See, oh, wow. Dom, okay. I can't even say his name, but there you go. Yeah. See? So that's how you can do it. So you can always just click roll. And it just does a famous And it'll just painter. put a famous person there, and then you can get it in that style. Oh. Which is cool. That's actually quite nice. I like yeah. that Yeah. <laughs> anyway, something else now. Let's get something um something else interesting. What do you want to try and make it type 
create okay. now for you. Peacock. And if you just type a peacock, just out of no, an no. example. Okay. You just type a peacock and boom, a peacock. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty. Okay, but anyway, what's it doing? Actually, that's funny because we, you, you know how we went and picked up the um, Indian the other night? Yep. There was a picture on the wall, and I swear it very similar to that <laughs> in the in, when we were picking up the Indian. Indian we, food. The Indian food, yeah. Yeah, Not food. a person. We weren't going and picking up. Food. You would I love specify Indian their food. name, not yeah. their race. Okay. No, but I love Indian food. Mango. I know. Oh, we had mango paneer. We had... Get the other <laughs> on track, on track. People want to see more okay. stable diffusion. A peacock. The video has become a bit unstable. Um, uh, walking by a uh, river during sunrise. I want to see that. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> during sunrise. There's a sun rising. It's by a river. Wow, that is quite incredible. <laughs> it is, actually. <laughs> I actually, I, I'm actually impressed by that one. <laughs> and that's the first generation we didn't cherry pick. So but he's not even got his, he's decided he's, it's so too early for do, him to put out his tail. You can actually think it's I batch count. I want to see some more, actually. You can do batch count, let's say, so, but it'll put them all on the screen at once. So and you I can, can look at all which one. and go, oh, which one do I like the best out of these? I don't mind this one, you know. Well, this one's gone now, it'll never oh, exist no. again. I make a backup of it quick before it's gone. Oh. Just drag it to the desktop and you've got it forever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Because I do like it. That's a good way you can save the programs. They are only 512 by 512 pixels, mm -hmm. but you can use an, another AI to upscale them. There okay. are some options here to change the width and height, but it can cause problems. But there you go. This is just it generating a bunch of different ones. Oh, see. and it, that, but that's a person. Where? Oh, yeah, it got confused with that particular one. Seriously? Yeah, it got confused. How confused that person of like being a peacock? Yeah. Oh, I like that one. There you go. Oh, it is wow. a bit low resolution once again, but you can upscale it further if you want. Can Just I don't say, use these sliders. I've had problems when I've made higher images I with them. I do like that. That's quite mysterious. Yeah. And it's got the water sort of like almost like a beach <laughs> effect. I actually like that. Yeah. Um, and notice how none of the peacocks have their tail. Yeah. Out. Um, if you type, for example, the word cartoon, you could get it as not really the kind of cartoon I was thinking no, of. No, that wasn't a um, cartoon. It's just blurry. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at that background. Cool. Do you know, these are quite abstract. Like, some of them are quite abstract. And yeah. just you look at them and think, wow. Yeah, exactly. But, for example... This is another thing. When you, when you throw at technology mis mismatching the painting type, for example, let's say an ancient painting of a lady talking on a Still smartphone. Fine. Okay. This is going to throw a spanner in the works. It won't be able to do this. Well, it did a great job. <laughs> it's done a great job. But, but she looks as if, what the hell is this? Because back in those times, I didn't have that. That could be more like a mirror. <laughs> I'm not seeing a camera. Looks more like a mirror yeah. to me. You get what I mean? It's a Say great iPhone. <laughs> Say iPhone. Be specific. See, that looks like, I don't know, some wallet. I don't see how it really has trouble. Okay. iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> but this is where you can really throw it off. I mean, see, it's it's trying its best. It's it is not trying too its bad. Best. But I don't know what's wrong with her fingers. Remember it it has a bit of trouble getting things perfect. It certainly does with her fingers. Oh, how many hands does she have? <laughs> yeah, she's got a few too many hands. But there you go. Um, oh, on on our uh, end phone, in iPhone. I mean, on an iPhone. Sorry, I, I did write it wrong. But anyway, um, a silky chicken. I knew you were going to say that. Silky chicken driving a car. No. <laughs> Motorbike. Good luck. I find paintings generally work better when you try something abstract. <laughs> Because it knows that it needs a man to help. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't even look like a proper silky chicken. It looks like the silky it's chicken is the motorbike. <laughs> it's riding it, but half the bike. I want to keep that in. Oh, we have to keep it. <laughs> yeah, um, so I'm going to start crying. That That's so the, funny. That cool. I want to see more of those ones. <laughs> I like that one better. That one. See, that's one I would cherry pick and then show you, because um, that was pretty good. <laughs> oh, that's great! I love that one too, actually. Anyway, I do like that one too. Generate. You've got to keep that one. I'll keep that one. Yeah. yeah. Ah! 
have a house <laughs> made of chocolate actually you can actually I've say you know, things one. made of things oh yeah i've got another one which is a combination oh, cool. yeah. <laughs> made of chocolate. yeah which is a combination of, of what yeah of what i i did before silky chicken wearing a tutu that's gonna be hard by the river at sunrise so that's combining sunrise. so a silky chicken wearing a tutu by the river at sunrise <laughs> Oh, that's I don't quite see the um, sunrise though in that. I don't see it. But so you generate a few. All oh, there, you can see the sunrise. That looks rising. more like a rooster. And it's kind of wearing a silky chicken's clothing. It's just killed a silky chicken and it's wearing its clothes. It's a rooster in silky chicken clothing. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> it keeps doing roosters. Yeah. Like when you try and do it though. Oh. That's cute. But it's... Oh, that's actually really cute. Yeah, that's very hard for a silky chicken to wear a tutu. Okay, it's tried. Okay, so what else do you want but to try? that's not bad. That's not bad. Okay. If you wrote a person, it might have a bit more, like, that's actually a true to. A tutu. Oh, no. Oh, that's the, the radio host, Philip Adams. <laughs> <laughs> that's the radio host. That's not me. Well, not him. I don't know who he is. I don't know who he is. <laughs> Um, someone that's actually well known. Who's someone that's well known that's not a prime minister? That's not a prime minister. That's not a prime minister. Um, okay, let's think. Um, is it that hard to do? Do God. Oh. Let's see what it comes up with. God wearing a tutu. Is that, that what they consider? Well, that's what the AI consider. <laughs> <laughs> What's it got three balls? Ja <laughs> <laughs> I just said jazz because that's what Jasmine would say. No. I just, I don't, they could be, you know, okay. tennis balls or something. Okay. So the idea of God wearing a tutu um, really changes a lot um, depending on um They've got opinions. a king there. Yeah. Um, there we go. Um, do Can you want to make a statue Donald just Trump to finish it off? wearing a tutu? Just, <laughs> I just want, we almost have to bring Trump into it. People hate in the comments. They say they are so sick of these videos getting political. But it's not political. It's what might be what he does in his spare time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not noticing. Put a little there. girl next to him because I was thinking, no, he doesn't wear a tutu. Oh, they're like a cheerleader there. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is great. People could have fun with this. Okay. Well, I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> wearing it, but not wearing it at the same okay. time. Donald Trump. No, not Donald Trump again. No. Boy. And Biden. We'll be inclusive of but Biden the whole point is not wearing to be a tutu. Not to be political. What the hell? He has a very orange face in that video. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. Look, they're friends. <laughs> Tutus. There we go. Although Trump's, you know, prefers long tutus. He prefers But notice how ones. they're still wearing their... their I know, because that's what they usually jackets. wear. They really like each other, don't they? Okay, let's finish it off with you making a statue of something. You know you like those statues. Like, I for do. example, a statue of a Roman lady holding... A vase. A vase. Similar to the one that we've got there outside. There you go, and you could generate that, a statue of a Roman lady holding a vase. And she's not holding it very well, so we'll generate another one. This is where the cherry picking comes in. I do a few until I'm like, yeah, I, I like mm -hmm. this one. Um, that one, I think, because she's, that's the closest one so far. Um, but yeah. where's her arm? Okay. It's like it's floating on her Well, we'll sleeve. generate another one because you're not satisfied. I'm not satisfied. Oh, wow. Well, that's an interesting one. That's very cool. It doesn't look like a vase, but it's interesting. Yeah. The hand's sort of... It's like she's in a vase. <laughs> she's okay. not holding so a vase. So let's say you wanted to it. generate a statue. What are you going to generate a statue of? Okay. A statue of a... If you want. It always has to be elegant. An elegant lady watering a flower. Wow, that's creative. It's like that is the watering thing, and the, but the flowers are like, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's creative. creative. Yeah, let's see another one. Okay. It's... <laughs> <laughs> 
It obviously is having trouble. It's actually pretty. And I like the pink flowers. Oh, I know. What? I know. I know. I know. Let's oh, that one's now. the best so far. My favourite flower. Pink blossom snow. tree growing next to a snow-capped mountain. In the sunset. Oh, it did the, the sky. It forgot about the blossom. It did the sky. Just wait. I'll keep this one. I wow, love this that's one. Great. I Look love that. this one. That is gorgeous. <laughs> Let's now do a roll. Keep this one. Okay, so a roll, like in a so Frederick von that guy. <laughs> See, I know nothing about art. Oh, wow. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, wow. That's wow. quite the style, hey? I wow. like that. Okay. Oh, sorry. I did another Frederick one. Let's get rid of Frederick for a moment. This is Lucy Maxton Brown. Okay. Wow. Let's do another one. It's still pretty. I like it. And I've never heard of some of these. Yeah. Images. This next one is Craig Davidson. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, that's so pretty too. <laughs> next one. Okay. Oh, oh, wow. That's interesting. Actually, I want to add something. I want to add some. A pink blossom tree yeah. with a wren. Does it know what a blue wren is? I don't know. That what... might be a bit too specific. Wait, wait. With blue wrens on the branches. Otherwise, they might put them in. How is it going to fit that in there? Branches. In the sunset by a river. I don't think we're going to have much luck with that because I don't know if it knows what blue wrens are. Oh, my gosh. Did you what? this one? Oh, no, I didn't. It got this oh, next one. No. Why did you like it's that so one? so beautiful. <laughs> but what I know happens? Do you go? Can you actually start from scratch or will it always be a different image? Like, for instance, if two people were in opposite time, sides. Yeah, it's no, always listen, different. If two people were on opposite sides of the world and they had the exact same text and they clicked. Yeah, it would be different. You're kidding. It would be so they wouldn't time. get the first one as no, the same? Or... No, no. Every, every time I can Can I just generate, say that's still it's beautiful? Not like, can it's you, not like this can is... Can we save this I one did too? Save it. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Some of these are just so beautiful. Ancient painting? Yeah, I wouldn't really call it ancient. Well, um, the, that person was pretty good though. If, yeah. you know, if that it was an ancient person. <laughs> a chrome bird? Would it make a chrome bird? Oh, that is interesting, but it wasn't quite what I was going for. Yeah, that's, I see. That's, that's more. That's more... Anyway, yeah. Go, okay. Cat eating porridge while watching TV. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't look like porridge. It looks like it's um eating some cat food on that spoon. It's like, <laughs> oh, there's a the TV. Oh, that no. But it's not watching TV. Come on, it's it's doing a good job. You know, it's 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 trying its best. Can I see a Leonardo da Vinci one of? TVs didn't exist back then, so. So that'll be interesting. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's it's having trouble doing the t getting the teeth. Oh wow, that's cool. That's a nice cat. It's got a spoon in its coming out of its side of its face. You're gonna judge someone because they've got a spoon coming out of their face. <laughs> He's always trying to wear like clothing from the time. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So, I think you can even do like a poster too. Poster. I guess if it was a poster. <laughs> It looks more cat Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure you can do a poster, but anyway. A cat walking in a future... No, 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 no. Futuristic... No. See, I want to see what it's A cat walking a dog. No, no, no. No, just... no, walking oh, Let me dog. just generate this no, first. No. <laughs> I don't want to generate Come on, I just want to see what its interpretation would look like. Come on. No, no, no. The longer you do this for... <laughs> Two mouses. That's not a futuristic city. And what's it made of there? <laughs> what's that? Futuristic. Looks like a cross between an owl and a cat. Futuristic dark neon. Can we do a futuristic dark neon city? Get it really cool here. Ooh. Okay, oh. Okay. Oh, now that is cool. <laughs> cat walking a dog. <laughs> Let's just a cat walking a dog. And that should stop yeah. it. Anyway, I think we've got a... The, the thing about this, you can get so carried away. It never... Where's the dog? I don't see the dog. It's too hard for it to do a cat walking a dog. God, it's the most evilest cat of. Uh, it's kind of the, like they're walking together, but um. Walking a dog on a lead. Okay, they tried, didn't work it's very well. It's clipping the <laughs> other cat's ear. <laughs> that would okay. be painful. Let's just be glad that this AI is not in control of the world because that's what the world would look like. It can't. See, it's not putting cats with dogs. Yeah, it, it can't do that for some reason. Yeah, it's, see, notice how it's with other cats. Yeah, what if we swapped it around? A dog, a dog walking. walking a cat? Let's go. Maybe if it's a painting, it'll find it easier to do. Hmm. That's the closest so far. It's got a woman there, and then it's like, no, no it's a cat walking it. <laughs> it's tried its best, but um, 
Yeah. No, it seems, it, seems it's to really have wants, It really wants people because it's thinking, no, that's... Oh! That's the best so far. That looks like a bulldog yeah, cross kind between of. a cat. And a bulldog, yeah. A cat and bulldog Okay, I think cross. that's the best we're going to get with that. Anyway, guys, the end of the world. Yeah, just random stuff. Let's let's see. This is real abstract random stuff. The end of Ted. Of wide. <laughs> it can't do text. It cannot do text, this program. Oh, that looks evil. The evil of the world. End of the world. It, it keeps trying to do it like with words on it for some reason too. <laughs> The of the void, void wood. <laughs> that is creepy. They, they almost look like movie. Yeah, posters. posters. It's like trying to do that. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, anyway, what I did want to say. Van here, Gogh, do End of the World Van Gogh. That looks like his famous van painting that I know of very well. But there you go. Actually, Nostradamus. I don't think Nostradamus painted anything. So, there you go. There's the end of the world as predicted by Nostradamus. Okay. That's very creative. <laughs> See, that yeah. is very creative. Okay. Now, who would have thought at the beginning of this video that that would be something that would be creating? The best generator at the moment, I would say, is Dally 2. And Dally 2, for example, this is some generations that it can do, that it's done as an example. An astronaut riding a horse in a photorealistic style. There you go. Teddy bears mixing sparkling chemicals or shopping for groceries... Um, in the style of this Asian drawing or in ancient Egypt. See, you'd say that the, this Dali 2 generates things, a bowl of soup that's a portal to another dimension wow. as digital art. That's Dali amazing. Two can, I mean, let's let's even try that now as a yeah, quick okay. comparison. That's Dali 2. You, yeah. know this. you can't actually use Dali 2 unless you get approved. Oh, but, really? Yeah, Dali 2 is a really good one. Oh, Dali 2 can is... Can you get approved? I've tried to, but they won't. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, they um won't. Dali 2 is Let's a see. lot better than this program. This program can try, but it... Looks it's, like it's just got fungus growing in it with a... See, it's... This program can't generate anywhere near as no. good as Dali 2. That's why... Well, well, that just looks like normal soup with green stuff in it. How can that be transformed yeah. to a... Yeah, so that's what I mean about a Dali 2. Soup. Dali 2... <laughs> Can do oh and look it generated multiple of the same thing. These are all different generations that it did Dally Two. Yeah. But Dally Two definitely, especially that first one, I think. Was that first one is amazing. Or yeah. Wherever was it was. Was that the one that they came up with? That yeah. So awesome. drawn on a cave wall. <laughs> so you okay. go. Or as a planet looks like a monster. <laughs> <laughs> Knitted out of wool, yeah. made out of plasticine. You mm -hmm. see, Dally Two is brilliant. Teddy bears, shh, let's say, working on AI research underwater with nineties technology. Okay. Or on the moon in the eighties. You know, Dally Two really. This is what you really want to use <laughs> if you can get your hands but on I it. But I don't understand why that people, you know, have to be approved to. Because this doesn't... That's discrimination. This doesn't run on your computer. They've made this. They have the rights to it. It's by OpenAI, Dally 2. Um, but well, can people buy it? Dally 2 was actually made Can you buy it? I believe you can generate images. You're approved for like a certain amount. You can like buy or something. You have to like have an invite or join the wait list. And when you do generate have images... Have you joined the wait list? I have, but they never approved me like months ago. Oh. <laughs> anyway, but it's it's really amazing, Dally 2. Um, and that's kind of... It, Stable Diffusion was created to kind of have your own Dally 2 at home. It's not as good as it, but it runs on your own computer. You don't need this access where you get, like, you get a certain amount of images you're able Can you do the other one that we were doing, but with Dally 2 style? No. <laughs> oh, it doesn't. No, it doesn't work see, like that. See, it doesn't it work. No, it, it doesn't work like that. Digital art, Dally 2. Yeah, it, it doesn't work like that. Okay, well, let's just see what it comes up. You can't just tell this to do it in the style of Dally 2. There you go. See? It doesn't work. Okay. This looks like pumpkin soup with all this garnish. Anyway. And cream. This one's got sour cream on it too. What if I and literally type OS first timer? <laughs> yeah. So it obviously can't do OS first timer. Um, sit on tout. Yeah. I, it's weird stuff. Okay. Well, so, you and your obsession with dogs. Well, finish ago, go. I just when the internet's not working, I type dog into Google search to check if the internet's working. But anyway, you always just pick. Dogs. We'll finish it there. Oh, oh um, a Pekingese, yeah, chasing a ball. <laughs> well, I can see the Pekingese, but not the ball there. But what's this? Oh, yeah, that's his legs. Oh, oh there, there he's got he the ball. Is. That's <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Yeah, you'd probably have a lot more luck if you do it but in the style. But there's no balls. Of the Pekingese doesn't I know, have any balls. I know. 
maybe as an artist. Are these a ball? Yeah, that's in the style of that dude up there. I don't, I don't know these. He doesn't really seem to be a painting artist, that guy. I don't know. What about Barkley L, this guy? <laughs> what is that? That is interesting. Oh, okay. he's got a little egg on his head, a cracked <laughs> egg. How does that symbolise a ball, for goodness sake? I don't know. Okay. But we're supposed to end the video here. This is the end of it. No, no, you cannot do nudity. Oh. <laughs> So nudity isn't supposed to work. I don't know how you got that working. That's um, blurted out for the video. It, so it's supposed to not show stuff like that. So for example, if you had lady with no shirt, it's going to put something to cover up the lady. That's the, the whole idea. Is, okay, it's not. Okay, it's supposed to hide things. It's not hiding things. Okay, it is supposed to hide things. And it's, it's not, not hiding good job. things. Okay, we need to finish this video now. Uh, Dally 2 apparently does a better job at hiding things. Well, this one certainly doesn't. Uh, just a man on the beach. At least she's shaven under her arms. Man on the beach, and we'll just end it with that, okay? Because we've just had some bad luck. This kind of image software has the risks of generating images such as those petrifying things you just saw. <laughs> okay. So hopefully it doesn't generate that. I mean, uh, that that's somewhere in the future where we've got to work on it, stopping it from generating things like that. This got very awkward at the end. So I think we'll just end this video off here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and have fun trying out Stable Diffusion yourself. Um, just make sure you don't type weird stuff in. Diana's got a weird mind and she types some weird things. Anyway, see you guys. You can't include that. You okay. can't include that. To. You really can't. I have to. Goodbye. I'm serious.